So we have one area left on our page here. What I would like to do is to try and combine some shapes. As I said earlier, most things around us are made from basic shapes. If we break down the object, we should be able to create a more complex shape from its smaller subsequent parts. So for example, I'm going to combine a circle and a cube. So if I look back at my cube, I'm going to start here and I will draw a nice little sketch for the square. Remember my feathering technique. Then I'm going to make it 3D again, nice and light, because I probably want to erase some. Next, I want to give it a spherical roof. So I'm going to draw part of my sphere. And then I'm going to actually rather make it all completely spherical. I'm going to curve that back edge. So I'm using my arc technique. I could repeat this underneath as well. A square can fit inside or around a sphere. So now you see how I've got an interesting shape. So if you were trying to design a product or be creative with something in your art, you can see how creating a complex shape from its subsequent parts can create a more dynamic object. Next, I'm going to use the square again as a base and I'm going to draw a simple house. So I've got my square projecting back to make my cube. I'm now going to put a triangle on top. So if I pop my triangle at the front, I could actually bring it back and make more of a pyramid out of that. And now I've got a triangle on top of a cube, which or a pyramid on top of a cube, which could become a house. Now actually let's have a look at a pyramid. So at the bottom, if I draw my triangle again, this is a square based pyramid. So I've got my triangle. Now this shape here, I want to, the same way I did here, if you imagine I've got a cube inside it, so I could make it almost out of my cube if I do this really lightly. I can erase it afterwards. I've got my cube. Then I need to take my point back to the back edge, like so. And I can use my feathering te technique to match this up. If you imagine the back edge inside, if I draw this in for you to see, that will be the base of the cube. And that's also the base of the pyramid. So using the feathering technique to make little minor adjustments in the orientation of my lines, I've now got a pyramid. Superb. That's your final practice.